I had this like really old life jacket. I wore it as a kid. I think it came from my grandparents. So my mom probably wore it as a kid too. And it's just been hanging around our house for years. I didn't want to throw it out partially because I, I hate throwing out textiles, like hate it. No matter how tiny the pieces, I, I so hard to throw them out. A life jacket is just really big and it crams up the garbage and then there won't take it away and I can't throw other things out. And so I didn't want to throw it out. So it's just been hanging around and I wondered if I could use it in a project. I also have this really old pair of jeans that, oh, you know what a pair of jeans just fits you? And no matter what size you are, they still fit you. There's no lycra in them. They're just, they're miracle jeans. I think I picked them up from a thrift shop probably 10 years ago. And I don't know how old they were when I got them. I prepared them so many times, so much reconstruction there. Absolutely love them. But there's, there are some holes in the knees and some thin spots that I've reinforced in the past. But looking at another season ahead of gardening, I figured I should make like a proper knee patch so I can kneel in the dirt and not have to worry about wearing the jeans through. And then I was like, hey, I wonder if I could use that life jacket. So I cut the life jacket up and took the foam out, which who knew that it's just those thin little pieces of like craft foam that are holding you up or at least in old life jackets. Not, I don't know, it doesn't feel super safe to me. But anyway, that was an interesting discovery. So I cut the life jacket into petals, uh, all of different sizes and shapes. I didn't really pay attention to what, um, how long they were turning out to, except for to say, oh, there's some small ones and some big ones and divide them into piles. I did, try like tearing into strips to start with but I didn't like how the edge was really frayed um, I just didn't think I'd like the look of that in the finished product I couldn't prevent some wastage of the fabric because of the shape of the petal so there are some little corners I've got in the pile in the corner I probably will use those in some project down the road I've got them in a in a ziploc bag I thought about cutting out the words, the instructions and the logo on this life jacket so that, I don't know, they just kind of seemed like a bit of a mess. But then I thought, oh, it'd be so cool to actually incorporate them and to look at the sunflower and know that it was a life jacket. So I ended up leaving them. There was a big moldy section inside the fabric on one of the front panels and I did cut that out. And I actually threw that piece out because a uh, moldy textile just is not something we want to keep. Before I did the patch, I trimmed all these frayed edges off of the, the knee hole. Which, that's something that I do before I start most men's. It just cleans up the final product and you can use those little threads to make more fabric in future. The only time I would leave them is just if I just want more sort of cushion in the area. I've done some mending with needle felting and sometimes I'll leave the strings so that there's just more going on, more texture, more color, more, more unexpectedness, which sometimes is just really fun. So I had my two piles of different sizes, but I wanted to sort them into a few more categories just so that I could go, uh, I think a sunflower should be big to small. So I divided each pile into two more piles and I could have used like a piece of cardboard or something to spread the glue, but this whole thing was going back to my childhood a little bit. You know, I used to spend time in the garden in these jeans and, you know, in the canoe, in the life jacket, and then spreading glue on the fabric with my fingers felt a bit like, I don't know, finger paint maybe. So it just added to the, the awesome fun of it. Uh, it did get a little sticky over time and I started to get glue on more than just the back of the petals, which actually turned out okay. It was, it, it leaves a shiny, this glue leaves a shiny finish uh, and it's not completely flexible. Like the, it does build up over, um, over a few different layers, 
but it dries totally clear. So for fabric that's already kind of got a shine to it, um, it didn't make much of a difference. I was originally planning to sew all these petals onto the jeans, but as I pinned them on, I just thought this is going to take forever, which if that's the style of project I'm doing, if I'm looking at, you know, I want to put a lot of time into this and just enjoy doing it slowly and step by step. And then that's awesome. But I really wasn't, I just kind of wanted to blitz it, you know, just have it done. I think this whole thing took me probably three, four hours uh, start to finish. You kind of can see the light change throughout the video as the sun goes down, which I think is really cool. Once I decided I didn't want to sew this whole thing together, I uh, needed a new plan and I've used this like no sew mending glue before. So I ran out to the drugstore and got a couple of, not vials, they're kind of like toothpaste tubes uh, full of this no sew fabric glue. Um, and I ended up using that. I just sort of uh, wiped it on with my finger and then stuck the petals onto the jeans. I am all about making mending more accessible for people. And I know that sewing can feel really intimidating. Mending glue, I think, takes some of the scare out of mending. It just feels like, oh, all I gotta do is spread glue on something and stick it down. That being said, I, I wouldn't rely on a glue to reliably fix a hole long term. Uh, and not a glue like this anyway. There are definitely some much stronger um, sort of gear glue for waterproofing fabrics and things like that that work really well and are pretty well permanent. This stuff holds up for a while and I find it super useful for just kind of sticking something down that you're gonna, that you're gonna sew on later or a quick patch that you just need to stay for a while, like in a pair of kids' jeans, or what, and then uh, they're gonna grow out of them. You can see at the top that I have a bit of a ridge um, where that uh, the crack in the fabric is. And that's one of the reasons why I clean up those edges because that'd be a lot worse otherwise. I could have ironed it uh, to sort of flatten that down a bit. I also could have cut the patch out. There's a jean patch in the knee already behind the hole that I've done previously. Like I said, these have been mended a, a few times. So that's part of what's creating that extra ridge and I could have cut that out. But to be honest, this project was more about the art of visible mending and just the enjoyment of it. And because they're work jeans um, and jeans that I work in in an area that I love in the garden, it's just about the joy of wearing them and loving everything about them. And this art project was part of that. I know most sunflowers are lighter on the edges and then switch to being darker in the center, but I wanted to alternate the colors a little bit. At this point, it's kind of reminding me of like a flaming sun, which really cool too. And actually not a look I was planning for or thinking I would go for. Some of the bigger pieces, I'm just grabbing the pieces randomly and some of the bigger ones are overlapping the small ones, um, which is okay too. I'm just kind of taking it as I go and enjoying the feel of it. After this dried, it made a really great knee pad kind of feel, which was great because these are work jeans. But after it dried, I picked up the jeans and tore another hole in the thigh just because the fabric was so disintegrated, just split. So I decided it's finally time to retire these jeans. Even though I love them so much, I guess. I mean, I could turn them into a pair of booty shorts, but I think these might be past that even. Like booty shorts that just split open randomly while you're wearing them are probably not a great thing to wear out. And they're not really my style to start with. So these jeans are done.
I cut out my awesome sunflower patch, which thanks to whatever this version of polyester is, it feels totally indestructible. And I used it as a rug for my tomato plants. And all in all, great success. And I just had so much fun making this. And sometimes art isn't about the finished product or about... It sounds crazy to say that sometimes mending isn't about how functional it is at the end. But sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's about the joy of making it and maybe just how much you loved the time you spent doing it. Also, because I don't throw out textiles, I have this feeling of continuity with fabrics. And if I love a piece, just because I can't wear it on my knee, doesn't mean it's lost or downgraded. Like, I love what it's doing right now. It's allowing me to, you know, pull my plants out, water them, and just shove them back under all together, which is great. And when it's done being that, it's going to be something else. I don't know what I'll need it for next. Maybe I'll turn it into another kind of rug. Maybe it'll be a placemat. Maybe I'll cut it up into a bunch of different pieces and use it somewhere else. Fabric just has such a recurring life when you continue to use it. If you never consider it garbage, I think you lose the grief that sometimes can come from a project not turning out how you expected it to. Especially in the past, I've, you know, made something and I found a really beautiful piece of fabric that I really loved. And I thought, oh, I'm going to make it into a, you know, whatever, a tree or a, or a flower. or I'm going to stitch this pattern on it. And, and if it didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to, I felt really sad, kind of like I'd wrecked it. But you haven't wrecked it. It's just become something other than what you thought it was going to become, which... Maybe it's a little bit like life too, but now I'm going rambling on a little bit too deep. So anyway, once I had all the strips down, it was time to make the center of the flower. And this part was the one that didn't turn out quite how I expected or hoped. I think that the circles I chose were a bit bigger than maybe they should have been for the flower. And I would have liked to have had more of them. I, they're actually a recycle from a different project that I did um, involving... Actually, I made a video of it. Uh, there's these like scrap flower brooches, like scrap fabric flower brooches that I made. So I just cut scrap circles and um, put them on in layers and added a button and then put it on as a pin. Um, but you could also put it on like a scrunchie or like so many options. Anyway, but I had all these leftover circles that I wasn't quite sure how I was going to use and I didn't feel inspired about the, f the fabric flowers anymore. And the color seemed right for a sunflower center that was applied to a pair of jeans. So I used them. There's some blue legging fabric, some other jean scraps from previously retired <laughs> pairs of jeans. I wanted to put um, a big circle right in the middle, like a lighter one, but when I put it in there, it just really did not look right. So I went without it. And how it turned out is good. It's just not quite exactly how I had pictured. But that is kind of the point of art. Especially this style. That you just kind of let it do what it wants and see what it becomes. This is a great time. Um, absolutely loved it. Uh, I don't know if I will employ this method again for mending something, but it was so much fun. I hope to see you join me on another video in future. Thanks. Bye.